Hello Adventures, it's your man Zero here, your favorite hero. Guys, we are able to get our weapons up to 120, and I bet you're wondering, what should I be focusing on for Yuffie? Well, let's jump into a quick tier list and see what weapons you should be prioritizing. Let's hop in. So first and foremost, I always move the free-to-play weapons over from the list down to never. These weapons, there will always be better weapons that are being given to us free-to-play with better stats and better capabilities. They are pretty decent when it comes to, like, uh, physical defense and magical defense, that kind of stuff, but they're not weapons that you really want to be focusing on, and you'll never put them up to, like, 120. So, you know, get them up to an 80, and that's where they should sit. As for our first weapon that we should be doing here, let's do the four-point shuriken. And the four-point shuriken, I am going to be dropping it right up here with the S. And the reason why is because it has that beautiful niche that UV has with buff and debuff duration. So this has a nuts amount of HP at 46 points, as well as the buff and debuff duration, and it decreases the P attack of the enemy when it hits. So definitely a weapon that I suggest putting in the S, get it up to 100 maybe, maybe 90, that's a good place for it for the time being, but one that you definitely wanna focus on getting more copies of. Next, we have the Boomerang. A Boomerang is another one of those situations where really good weapon, it has a boost at P attack, so that's solid at 46 points plus it has the boost fire potency but its main capability is in the skill so this decreases fire resistance so as you can imagine that's going to be really good with a team with like fire cloud in order for you to be able to get that much more damage out with him next up is very similar we have the pinwheel pinwheel decreases the ice resistance on an enemy as well as has really good our abilities at HP being 46 points and it has ice potency. So nice, good weapon, good skills on those weapons, guys. Another one of those is actually the Wind Slash. And so we're gonna put the Wind Slash right up here with S as well. It's another one of those weapons that decreases the resistance of lightning in this case for the enemy, as well as it has a P attack of 46 points and the buff debuff duration our ability. So one that is very niche, and this one is actually probably one that you wanna focus on pretty quickly. So we'll put that up here in the second slot right after the four point shuriken, because I do believe that reducing the P attack for an enemy is a bit better than the elemental resistances, just in terms of survivability. Next up, we have the razor ring. Razor ring is gonna go up here to A. That's a nice good place for it. It has a decent amount of our abilities but only 31 magic attack our ability its skill is earth based but it doesn't have that great of a percentage it does do an all hit which is pretty solid but definitely one that you're not going to be focusing on getting to 120. Next up, we have the Crystal Cross. Crystal Cross is another one of those weapons that's really solid at A. I do believe it is, it's kind of like a niche between, uh, and the only reason why I'm putting it at A is because we have other weapons that have boost ability potency and magic attack our ability, but its overall skill is more of a, like a healer and she's not gonna be a healer unit. So I'm putting it in A. Uh, definitely one that you can get up there, get it up to 80, get it up to 90. That's a good place for it for now. You're not gonna be putting that up to 120 anytime soon. Next up, we have uh, the poison weapon, the Viper Claw, guys. And I'm just going to take this Viper Claw. And, I, you know, it is almost sea level just because, well, you know what? I am going to put it at sea level. I think this weapon, though, it has really good R abilities. You know what? Let's actually just increase it just because the R abilities are really good uh, with 46 points in P attack and limit break potency increase at 39. But poison is just not where it needs to be in this game we will more than likely get really good poison weapons in the future if poison ever gets buffed and so this weapon maybe at that time can go up a little bit higher but those weapons are going to overshadow it almost immediately so i'm going to put it here into b it's going to be one that you want to shell if you're not going to be leveling that one up anytime soon it has a very very little use cases right now pretty much only the bahamut fight and even then it does very little damage so not worth it in my opinion Next up, we have the Spiritual Shuriken, and Spiritual Shuriken is another one of those weapons that I'm going to put up in A. Very good weapon with the ability to do ice damage, and it has ice potency and P attack increase at 46 points, so really good R ability points, but it doesn't decrease the resistance like the pinwheel does. So really good DPS weapon for Yuffie, but not one that I would utilize on my other teams or in a team composition. So it is going to go here into A. I think that is a good slot for it for now. Next, we have the Magic Shuriken, and Magic Shuriken is going to fall right into A as well with the attack at 46 points and wind potency, which is fantastic. But again, it doesn't decrease resistances, and it is an all-attack weapon. So 
It doesn't do that much damage either. So I'm going to be putting into A. Uh, you can definitely level this up to like 90, you know, 100. And then just to get that wind potency up a little bit higher to make it more usable as a sub equipment. But it's not going to be one of her main equipment. It's not one you're going to be putting to 120. Not for the immediate future at least. And the reason, main reason why is because, well, we have the dinner tray. The dinner tray, guys, is going to be an S-plus weapon. This is one that you definitely want to upgrade. It's got really good wind potency at 39 points, and it has P attack at 46. So the R abilities are going to be fantastic for this weapon. You definitely want to get that up. And its overall damage is phenomenal at 850% damage. Really good. So this is one that's going to be an S-plus for sure. And finally, we have the Arctic Star. Guys, the Arctic Star is going to be an S plus weapon. Actually, it should be the very first S plus weapon that you get up to 120 for her. And the reason why is because it does do the P attack increase on one of your party members, which is a phenomenal skill, but it also does a crazy amount of damage. And its P attack is at 46 points for the R ability, and it has the buff and debuff duration. So this is the, the niche one that covers all the real main juicy things that we love the, about Yuffie and about her new skill the buff and debuff so i think that is it for this list and if you guys have any difference of opinion please do comment below let me know what your thoughts are i'd love to hear them just because it might change my opinion about these weapons as well and it, please if you like this content do like sub and subscribe i'll catch you guys later take care adventurers be well